Oh, man. I am starving. I'll tell you what, though. There's nothing quite like a nice, thick, large piece of finished meat in order to quell your hunger. I like my finished meat cooked in such a way that I could just grab it both hands and shove it in my mouth. There we go. That's the stuff. Oh, man. After a, after a nice... Long, thick steak. It's time for a dip in the pool. Oh, the phone's ringing over here. Hold on. Let's go find out who it is. Uh, yes, hello. This is uh, Mr. Still Plays. How can I help you? Uh... Huh? Uh-huh. Okay. Uh... Oh. Nope. No idea. Didn't see anything. Don't know anyone like that. Never seen... Never never heard of a, of a, of a truck of that style. In this area. I don't think anyone owns anything like that. Must have been out of towner. Possibly Finn Sweet or something. Yeah, probably Finn Sweet. I'll bet that's what it is. Anyway, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, if I see anything, I'll let you guys know. Have a good one. And uh, sausage and beer to you. Bye. Oh, crap. Well, uh, I never thought it would come to this. What happened here? Okay. All right. Me hitting. Whoa. Okay. All right, hold on. Me hitting random finish guys with my new pickup truck aside, what the hell happened here? He was on top of that counter, at least that's what the guy that hit him told me, and somehow a, a gravitational beer force is pulling his un- Okay! Is pulling his unconscious body toward the- I don't know if that's the east or the, or the north or the south or what- But it's pulling his unconscious body Across my- oh, now it's dancing. Now it's doing the disco in the middle of my garage. What happened here? Is this just his anger? Like, is this his anguish coming back to me? Showing that he's- he's not- he's not done yet. Like, he's- his- his life force has not been snuffed out. Well, guess what, buddy? You're going into the landfill. Actually, I have better plans for you. There's something I just noticed. If we get really close to this guy and we listen to his his drunken grumbling, you can actually hear the static from the microphone that uh, that uh recorded his sound effect. Hear it? It's gone now. And here it gets back right now. <laughs> so I fixed my frame rate by the way. It is silky smooth. If you're wondering how to do it, like your frame rate has turned into hammered crap. Basically, you have to this guy just like dove out of my arms. Basically, you have to remove all of your items. Uh, so all of the thousands of beer and sausage that has been laying across the entire landscape, I had to get rid of it. Because if I didn't, the game, it, it got to the point where the game's not gonna run anymore. So, yeah. All right, let's just dump this guy's poltergeistic body into the back of the truck. So right over here, Brand new van style pickup truck. What do you think? Looks good, doesn't it? Plenty of space. And we're gonna use all of this illustrious space today because I want to see if we can break the game with this. Now you're gonna notice you, you, you are able to get into the sides of the truck like this here. So there is nothing, you know, there's nothing showing. I don't know if you can... Okay, that looks a little, uh... We're just gonna leave this down and pretend that it doesn't levitate in the air like that. I hope this guy maintains inside of this, inside of the back of the truck, because he's really trying to get out. So first things first, there's some other folks that are gonna have to get in the back of the truck. This is, this is even assuming that we're allowed to get those people. Now you may notice how dirty and dingy the game is looking right now. Is it due to the frame rate? No. It's due to this freaking windshield! Wow, you guys don't even know. But after I destroyed, after I destroyed the windshield and got rid of it, my, my already high frame rate right now just went up another 20 frames per second by getting rid of the windshield. So remember kids, when driving around in your brand new pick em up truck van, make sure to use your bare hands to smash out the front windshield. Just like Arnold Schwarzenegger. And everyone loves Arnold Schwarzenegger. Do, 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 do. Crap, he's still alive. Finish Hulk smash! That's one. Hey, did any of you guys see Status D's cousin? Oh! There he is. Just dropping in to visit. 
I saw in the comments section, someone was like, this is a very, for the last episode, they were like, this is a very accurate simulator. I pull, I pull dead people out of cars in Finland all the time. That's what I thought. See, that's, that's what I had expected. I know. I, my, all, all of my theories are, are grounded in reality. Come here, buddy. Man, I'm getting really thirsty really fast. I, I don't know if it's because that, like, like, actual summer was here. Even though it's not anymore, or what? I feel well down here where I'm at in Florida. It's it's like I told you guys before. All we have is hot summer and cold summer. Actually, it's just summer and hot summer. There's not really a cold summer. It's like 80 degrees Fahrenheit summer and then 100 degree Fahrenheit summer. There's a couple of other things that we're gonna need to get in order to test out the maximum durability of this brand new glorious vehicle. Handles like a dream. So smooth. So delicious. You know, the only thing is because it's not Saturday, there's no extra bodies laying around. You know what I mean? There's no volu extra volunteers. But it's all right because there's some extra items that I think we should be able to fit in the back of the pickup truck to really see if we can start the uh, finished space program off right. And yes, you, you heard that correctly. The finished space program. I feel like this thing gets better air now that it's a pickup truck. I wonder if it's because of the uh, the improved aerodynamics. It kind of scoops the air into the truck bed and allows us to really get up off the ground. I've gotten a couple of decent jumps, especially considering, you know, it's the van truck. Woo! There we go. Now we're getting it. Yeah. Catch the holds onto the road pretty damn good, too, considering. Yeah. Oh, oh, Jesus. Okay, ow. Well, things are turning out pretty good so far. All right, so the volunteer program is momentarily suspended, but uh, there's some other stuff I think that we're gonna be able to use as testing grounds for the space pro. Oh, what the hell? Why is there a random dead guy here? Did he run into the car and just end up getting jacked? I mean, great, I guess. Congratulations. Good sir, you've just been recruited. Get in the car. Ah, another test subject. Good. Very good. Come on, baby. Come on out, that's a tight fit right there. Ah, here we go. That, is, that beautiful plaid panted body, you're coming with me. Well, never mind. The Finnish pro space program is back in, in full swing. I, I never thought we would come across so many volunteers. Hey, buddy. Uh, so, quick question. You want to get involved in any kind of space program? Space program? You like space? You like freaking space music? I can't... I hate the fact that I can't grab this guy. I really wish that you could knock everyone in the entire game out. Crap! Thirsty again. This is gonna be a situation that only some sweet, delicious beer can resolve. I mean, I guess you could resolve it with water as well, but, uh, you know, who are we kidding? I'm actually kind of curious what Kabbalah is considered. Like, is it a, is it a lager? Is it an ale? I'm guessing it's not a stout or a porter. It doesn't really look like it. Yeah, whatever. As long as it's wet, it's good enough for me. Oh, that reminds me, too. I wonder if I left my gun over here. Not like I think we're gonna need it. Like, anyone's gonna attack us for these bodies. I mean, these volunteers or anything. But, you know... The wild moose are still out these days, so I, I would like to have a way to, to fend them off should they, I don't know, be in heat or whatever they do to attack Finnish people. Ah, perfect. I can see it from here. Glorious. Well, we lost one volunteer. You sleeping all right? Crap. So we'll try and get as many as we can, but after this, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to manipulate time and space in order to get as many as possible, and I, I know exactly how I want to do it. It's going to involve the wood flatbed trailer, this pickup truck, and a lot of time and effort. Oh, and a pile of bodies. We're talking like zombie apocalypse level pile of bodies. Ah, perfect. Okay. So the number is three. We're going to have a total of three volunteers right over here. Remember how I said that we weren't going to need the gun? I lied. Well, I didn't lie. I was just... Yeah, I lied. Hey, uh, can I get one of them there? Beer cases, one of them there's salsa. After what happened last time, I am not going to go as nuts with the beer and sausage as I, as I had done before. Because I don't want my frame rate to suffer quite as mightily. As it did the last time. Let me go ahead and put that in there right now. 
So I decided if we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this the right way. We're gonna make it so that we don't lose any of the bodies. You know it's gonna rain today? Gray, why do you have a pile of Trogdar surrounding you that's slowly being possessed by the devil? Don't ask those questions. It's all part of the plan. <laughs> Whew! Man, this is a lot harder than it looks. I told you guys we would get a pile of bodies though. And we will. All right, that's a pretty good pile. I don't even know if I can get this van over there. I guess we'll find out. I don't know if it's, I don't know if there's too much weight in it or what. All right, just gotta get right over here. Come on. Oh crap, oh crap, oh god, oh god. No, I don't want you to be a part of this. I don't need to be a part of this. Okay, that was almost really, really bad for me. All right, right about there. Let's see how it looks. Oh yeah. Oh, most of the bodies made it and everything. We may be able to even shove a couple more in there. Mm-hmm. Just like I like my roast beef sandwiches. You gotta pile that meat high. Oh no, two guys just fell out. I finally managed to get the entire pile inside of this thing. This is the tallest pile of bodies I have ever managed to stack in my summer car. I'm surprised this isn't an achievement or something. Look at them, they're slowly worming their way out, trying to escape the inevitable. I never thought that that would be a phrase that would come out of my mouth. Only with this game. Oh crap, here we go. Here we go. And that's the happy new year. And the finish space program is a go. I gotta tell you, I think we did pretty good. I, I have a feeling that the shot put style distance that our guys managed to get wasn't too shabby. I, I don't really know. Oh, here we go. See, there's a couple bodies over here. Uh-huh. Looks like there's a whole slew of devastation that went over to the right of the initial scene. One guy stayed with the vehicle. We could probably even get another one going. All right, let me ask you boys something. You ever seen Call of Cthulhu? <laughs> don't even ask me what happened here. Uh, but this odd amorphous solid that we have crafted is gonna be the next specimen to be sent into space. Quite honestly, if the Finnish can put this together and send this into space, we're never gonna have to worry about invasions because whoever discovers this from another planet, there is no way they're coming down here to mess with us. All right, this is where Gray gets in the car and tries to drive it forward. Um, probably only to find that it's not going to move because of the amount of limbs that are levitating through the entirety of the figure of the truck. Okay, it's, it's moving. <laughs> Barely. I have no idea how this has worked. Come on, baby. Just two miles an hour. That's all you need. You just gotta go forward a little bit more. Come on. Oh, oh no. Oh, okay. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's doing it. Look, we're moving about one centimeter a minute, but we're gonna get there. As long as I could just get the rear of the van on the train tracks. By the time the next train comes, we should be ready to get the problem is this. This is in the way. That's what it is, extra weight. We stalled out the van. I have never ever stalled out the van. Not one time have I ever stalled this van out. Is it from the sheer amount of weight? Hold on, let me rev it up. Kick it into gear. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. <laughs> I got it. I managed to pull the van forward, dragging the now taffy-like body of Status D with it. Okay, now all we need to truly understand is a train. I just need the train now. You can't even really see that there's a truck under all this mess anymore. It's just a zombie-like fusion of limbs and very, very stretched out torsos. Oh, I think that's it. Here we go. Hold on, let's get on this side for this. Okay, the train is coming. The horror is ready. What does it all mean? Here we go. I'm gonna get back a little bit for this. Come on, baby! Ooh. <laughs> Woo! Yes, indeed! Woo! <laughs> There's a little bit of status D in all of us right now. The body parts are just, they've all flexed across the entire landscape. And at this point, I think we can safely say that we have broken the game beyond all repair. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of My Summer Car. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.